Hello, Blackhawk Country Club. My name is Thomas Fong. I'm here to share a driver tip with you today. The good thing about swinging the driver, it's just like swinging the iron. However, you do have to make an adjustment in your setup. So one of the first things to do is to have your stance wider than your iron stance. This is gonna automatically push the ball position forward to give you an idea how much forward you want to be, go ahead and take your stance to the ball. Grab the club with your right hand and have it positioned underneath your left armpit. And this will give you a good gauge of how far forward in the stance the ball must be. This is also going to create your body to be behind the golf ball, which is a good thing. The next thing is the swing. The swing with the driver, because it's the longest club in the golf bag, has to swing from a shallow angle of attack, and the club head wants to be low to the ground. Now, a good example of that is an airplane. When an airplane is landing, you don't want that airplane driving straight downward into the ground. You want that club head slash airplane to land like the wheels in the rear of the plane landing first and the nose of the plane pointing up. So this with a club head will create a position where the face is pointing upwards. This will help you swing the club on a better path into the golf ball and also provide the proper launch of the golf ball. To help you practice, I've created a little aid here that you could use while you're hitting balls on the driving range, either on the grass tee or on the mats. All you'll need is a range ball bucket, preferably a medium or large bucket, just so that you have the proper height, along with an old shaft, preferably one for a wood, so it's long enough so that you can position behind the golf ball. Now, as you come behind the golf ball, you're going to have the range ball bucket and shaft positioned just to the left. And this is for a right-handed golfer, just to the left of the golf ball where it hovers over the hosel of the, gol of the golf club. You wanna make sure that the bucket and shaft are positioned far enough so that you could take the club head back comfortably. But this particular drill will allow you to hit balls from this station and give you immediate feedback. So hopefully you could swing the club from low to high on the correct path. Something like this is what we should try to aim for when we're doing our drills and aids. Give it a try. Hopefully this helps you with your driving to be more consistent and give it the proper launch. Thank you.